Hey you all, welcome to the channel, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to look into your Sun, Moon and as well rising sign for the week 18th of January up until the 24th of January 2021 and uh, if you are interested in a personal reading you can go to my website which link you are going to find into the description down below there at the very front page you are going to see the full list of my services as well their prices and depending on your budget and uh, your needs you can purchase whatever service suits you best. Upon purchase within 24 hours I'm going to contact you via email so make sure you do check your spam and junk folder as well because sometimes the email provider likes to throw my messages in those folders. And also if you are interested in Tarot, you want to learn to read Tarot I'm offering as well tarot classes in case you want to check them out. Uh, they are under the tarot classes section. So with that being said, guys, um, I hope you do enjoy the show. All right. So this is this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Moon and as well uh, Rising. Weekly general tarot reading for the upcoming week. And just bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the cards. And uh, we are going to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card we do have for you, that will be the um, <clears throat> Page of Wands, followed by uh, the Nine of Swords. Moving next, we do have uh, the World card, followed by uh, the Hierophant, and the last one, that will be uh, the, the Strength card. So those, um, those five cards. All right, so uh, Sagittarius, at the, um, at the start of the week here with the Page of Wands, uh, a person showing up uh, into your life, uh, that could be someone you already know, or it could be also a somebody brand new. But the thing with the Page of Wands is that these people, they don't really like to be told what to do. They, they kind of like look very unattached or, yeah, unattached to the situation and to the circumstances in generally of their deeds and the deeds of others as well. So uh, in reality, in general, they look like they don't care and that nothing really can ruin their day. But in reality, they are very fragile from within. Now, usually they're a, a good messenger. What I mean that they do bring a good news and that is how you know, for you, uh, this person is going to appear most likely. That will be somebody who does bring a good news into your life at that point. And this good news is going to uh, pretty much, how can I say, uh, make you open for anything new that comes about and as well is going to uh, boost your self-esteem, if I may say it that way, self-confidence. For through this uh, interaction with the Page of Wands, you are to be reminded of your own personal strength, that you don't need anything or anybody presented to you as a help in order to get where you want to be. Uh, and of course, that could be just a, a cooperation in between you and that individual and person to pretty much discover new ways of, um, of life, like you know, new enterprises that you are to enjoy, new activities, and in generally to widen and sprawl your, uh, your domain. And right after that, from the start toward the mid of the week, you are going to tackle with all of the uncomfortable sides of your approach toward the, these openings, anything new that the uh, page of a wants is a harbinger of. That is because, you know, it's one thing to have a wishful thinking 
and to know that you can get somewhere. Another thing is to realize that doing it so there will be some consequences of it that you will have to take under consideration. Pretty much you will have to deal with certain, you know, I can't really say negative consequences, but consequences nonetheless. And um, if from the start to toward the middle of the week, you uh, Sagittarius are going to be indulging yourself, if I may say it that way, into figuring out how to minimize the negative consequences, should there be any, and how to maximize the positive consequences or the benefits out of this cooperation with the Page of Wands that once again, it could be a harbinger of a, a good news, or it simply could be somebody that will allow you to be open for anything new and to discover your own personal uh, personal strength. Uh, which, uh, by the way, kind of makes a lot of sense here because the Nine of Swords, what boils into is you tackling with your fear and by, by, by realizing how strong you are in reality on your own accord, um, you get now the chance to overcome your fears, whatever that fears could be, fear of saying something, fear of doing something, you know, and etc, etc. And right after that, we do have the world card here at the middle of the week. And that card just really tells us only one thing, a, a successful con conquest over the fears that you do have, over the fears of those consequences which your actions or decisions may cause based on the new openings here, which the Page of Wands brings you. With the World Card, guys, um, well, there are two things that are important about the World Card. The first, it is a entire, like I said, completion of a, uh, a book, not just of a chapter, but of a, a book of life. What it is, it is, and there is nothing you or anybody else can do in order to change it. So, at the middle of the week, whatever situations you are involved in, they are there to stay. I mean, there is nothing that you or anybody else can do, like I said, to change that. So if uh, by the middle of the week, somebody wants to make business with you, uh, they are there to stay. If by the middle of the week, you know, um, for example, you have accomplished a, a very good deal for yourself, that deal is there to stay, nothing can change that. Of course, it could be a little bit more morbid. Um, if by the end of the week, the person of interest doesn't love you, then they don't love you and you can't change that. But that is also a, um, how can I say, an option to conquer your fear, to be open for anything new, like a new person of interest, you know. But the thing is that by the end, by the middle of the week, you are going to know exactly how you stand and where you stand and what your future holds. Which brings us to the second thing of the world card, and that is the new perspective. Or like I said, you are closing a book and now it's time for you to open a, a brand new one. So at the middle of the week, you have to think of what is the new thing you want to do that has nothing to do with your current enterprises, which your current tasks or deeds or, or situations even. And uh, it could be literally anything that it is within your capabilities. So at that point, it will be a very good thing at the middle of the week to start contemplating on your next goal. And right after that contemplation, here we do have the Hierophant and that is where you are to face a quite sort of a benevolent support in regards to this new direction of yours that you are to uh, contemplate on. That is a contemplation, all right? It is not you taking on that direction yet. It is just a contemplation. Don't miss the two things. So a benevolent support into it, regard, uh, and that support is going to consist of a very fruitful discussions and, uh, mm, yeah, it's discussions and conversations uh, so you can get to the bottom of it. So whichever or whatever problems you may see with the future developments of this um, new perspective or new direction, you find the framework that you can deal with those problems before they do escalate. And also with the Hierophant, that is about building, um, how can I say, building up trust in yourself and in others so you do have some kind of a uh, but i cannot say following but more like a companionship 
along the way. So whenever you do need help, you get a, a help. Uh, in terms of more intimate perspective here, if you are, if you have to ch um, change your perspective and, and contemplate on being with someone else, then the Hierophant here kind of like signifies that your next relationship or the contemplation over your next relationship should not around it uh, should not revolve itself around emotions, but instead should revolve itself around mutual trust, reliability, and in generally how much that person that you may uh, end up with in the future. Oh, you're going to end up with many people in the future. But the point is, you know, which one to choose. And you should choose the one that you can trust, that you have a reliability into. Because at the end of the day, you can love somebody as much as you like. But if you don't trust them, can you really be with them? And that's, that trust doesn't just grow, you know, over a night. It's always the sense of mistrust is, is always there. Once that, that's why when you lose once the trust into somebody, you never regain it back, at least, at least not in, in, in that pure form. So that is with, uh, with the Hierophant here uh, and the two ways how it can develop from the mid towards the end of the week. It is that either you're going to find a resolution before the problem comes about or um, it is where you do uh, place a uh, criteria about your future relationships that it is uh, based on a, a mutual reliability and trust and the understanding that if you are with somebody that you do trust and you, you can rely on, even if you don't love them at the start, love is going to come on its own accord in the future. That is the true meaning of love. And um, the last one here, that is to be the strength, which is the development at the end of the week. That is how your week ends. And uh, the strength here refers to your determination and whatever you have find out, found out, I'm sorry, here into the Hierophant. You know, these conversations, contemplations, uh, discussions uh, about the framework of resolutions and so on and so forth. So here with the strength, you already made up your mind and uh, that shows your tenacity and it shows your um, unyielding standpoints not to stray away from whichever direction you have chosen, you have chosen or whichever person you have chosen to uh, to interact with. With the strength card, you are going to be very convinced, not into your righteousness, but into what you want and that what you are doing is right for you to do. And for that reason, at the end of the week, you are not going to feel yourself um, obliged to constantly explain yourself about why are you doing something or toward what ends you are toward what end. You are doing it as well. The determination of the strength card goes beyond that. Also, uh, being determined to tackle with predicaments and difficulties, knowing that at the end is going to worth it. So this card here is a confirmation that whichever perspective you choose at the middle of the week, it will definitely worth it. So that being said, uh, Sagittarius, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And we shall see each other next time. Until then. Bye.